a, a transformed Darwin appeared in 1860, a Darwin who was a beautiful experimentalist and who turned his garden and his conservatories really into an incredible sort of botanical research station. And, um, and, who, and he wrote marvelous papers and six marvelous books, one on orchids, one on climbing plants, on insectivorous plants. And um, these are enchanting books, and also they have a special function. And he himself mentioned this because he speaks of his botanical movements as a flank movement on the enemy. And what did he mean by this? You know, it was very clear in, you know, when the origin came out that there was outrage because human ancestry and human status was being brought into question. There was a, a huge upset. But with plants, maybe it's okay. You know, um, plants are in a different kingdom. If they want to evolve, if natural selection occurs then. And so in a fascinating way, really, Darwinian ideas were introduced through plants and through the botanical books and through botany. And evolutionary botany was the first evolutionary science. Thank you.